Stanford University. One of the things my lab is really interested in is the fact that many of the drugs we're currently prescribed come from plants, and in fact, plants are the only source of these compounds. So included is the anti-cancer agent atopicide. So this is a molecule that the precursor comes from the medicinal plant podophyllum. So there's two reasons why it would be beneficial to have another way to make these molecules other than the plant that produces it in nature. One is that the native producing plant might be difficult to grow. The second reason is that if we want to make a modified version of this drug, we can really only use what the plant gives us. What we really need are the genes that encode the enzymes because they're really the instructions for telling us how this molecule can be made in a cell. So we were able to take these genes out of podophyllum and put them in a lab plant. In our case, we chose tobacco because this is commonly used for expressing different kinds of plant enzymes. When we put these genes in tobacco and then we looked to see what was in the leaf, sure enough, we found uh, the precursor to this drug, the atopicide aglycone, present in tobacco leaves. So now really the sky's the limit. We could take this pathway and we possibly could put it into a microorganism such as yeast. Or we can start to engineer the pathway and make derivatives of this drug that might have better properties, less side effects, um, and, or more potent activity. I think this effort is, is part of a much bigger approach to make molecules using biology. So a lot of these compounds that we find in nature are pretty complex and they're difficult to produce using synthetic chemistry. So if we can engineer cells or plants to produce these compounds, this could be a whole new way to make very complex molecules such as drugs. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.